The Cost to Love, Chapter 17 of 30 Chapters, Exploring Biblical Hope. I'm Kevin De Beer, Minister of Word and Sacrament at Bells Hill Central Parish Church. Thank you for your company. The Cost to Love. Today we are going to be reading a large portion of scripture from Matthew chapter 25, the great parable of the sheep of goats that reminds us that indeed there is a cost, practical, spiritual, emotional, to the reality and demands of love. If we are to follow in Jesus' example of self-offering love, we need to practice that love amongst the marginalized, the vulnerable, the overlooked, the despised, the hungry, the needy. You will hear the chapter, and it is a remarkable chapter that reminds us that the Christian faith is not merely about what lies ahead, but what lies in front of us, and practicing that love at great cost. The crucifixion of Jesus comes at great cost, and so we reflect on that word cost. Crucifixion, we need to allow something in us to die, to make room for that which leads in the direction of life. We need to be open to the mystery of the now, the challenges before us now, the living out of our faith now, the living out of hope in practical daily experiences. And we need to stay with the moment, stay with the feeling, stay with the response, stay with the cost, stay with the challenge. And we need to tell this story in words and in deeds. Or as St. Francis would have us believe, Preach the gospel, use words if necessary. There is a cost to love. And so even as we follow in the example of Jesus, we hear this remarkable story. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 46. When the Son of Man comes in all his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison. You came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick, or in prison? and did not help you, he will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Let us pray. Almighty God, there is a cost to love. When we recognize it in stark terms as this gospel passage depicts, we recognize in many ways that we have reached toward others and we have failed in our reaching. That there are times when we have fed and clothed, and there are times when we have denied and sought our own comfort. Stretch our imagination that we truly might be amongst the righteous. And when we fail and fall and stumble, strengthen our feeble efforts, that indeed they might reflect something of love in the world. And so, gracious God, take of all the fragments of our life and lived experience around the world, and make of it a tapestry of hope that speaks of your presence. For even as we continue in hope, we pray that we might count the cost. In Jesus' name, amen.